Hey everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Manuel Bambly and in this video I want to talk to you about sketching cards because I think some of you enjoy it just as much as I do and I want to talk about the basic few lines that you need to get started especially if you want to sketch a core in for example three-quarter rear view but you can also use this for three-quarter front, front view. The, the start out point is basically the same. So I want to keep it really, really basic and really keep as few lines as possible just to help you as much as I can if you're just starting out with sketchy cards. So let's jump right in and see how it goes. All right, we are good to go. Let's see. First of all, we need a clean sheet of paper, of course, and I'm using my standard stuff, the big round stick. I use this pretty much every time I sketch something on here. But, uh, all right, so check this out. We want to sketch a car in three quarter rear view. Now, when I first started sketching cars, this was a big problem for me because I didn't understand propor proportions and the perspective was messed up and everything like that. But uh, there is kind of, I don't know if I should call it a shortcut, but this helped me a lot and I hope it's gonna help you too. So, let's start by, uh, so, okay, let's start from the complete beginning here. We want to, first of all, make one single line and that's gonna be our baseline. So let's do that. So we're gonna start out just making a line like this. Now, when we, when we have this line, this is our baseline and we want to build our wheels or wheel arches on top of this line. And the distance between these wheel arches is going to determine the perspective or how much of a side view we're going to go into. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to make it uh, almost 50-50 so we see as much of the rear as we do of the side. So I'm going to put out the wheel wheels right here. And I just like to do them as half circles because I'm going to fill in the spokes at the bottom and the brain is going to uh, fill in the rest basically. So you don't need to fill in all the details of, uh, of the wheels. And this will be the rear. So you see this distance here? That will, this distance will determine uh, what kind of, from what angle you're looking at this car. So for example, we could have done like this. We could have done something like this as well. You see the distance here now is completely or a lot more narrow than we have here, which means that we're going to see a lot more of the rear end of this car or the front, whatever you choose to do, than we would here. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you both, both of these and, uh, kind of show you the steps that I take when I sketch cards in this perspective. But the first point I want to make clear is that this is all you need to get started with the proportions because you have the, uh, you have the wheelbase already set here. So you kind of, all you need to do from here, I know it sounds like all you need to do, but uh, it might not be that easy, but is to design, is to start to design the car from here. The next thing we might want to do from here is to add an end point where this car is going to end. And I'm going to just make it like that. It doesn't have to be more than that. We're starting to define the proportions of the car now. And the same goes for the hood. Since we're looking at it from a slight rear view, chances are we're not going to see a lot of uh, bodywork sticking out in front of this wheel. So I want to just start by making something like that. And continue to make some a line that goes down like that. If you, if you want the line to be like that, it's totally up to you. But I want to show you kind of like a template. So from here, for example, now we have the proportions of the car. And this is where the fun starts. This takes probably, I would say, 10, 15 seconds to get all of these three lines down or uh, three features down. The first one was the baseline. So I'm going to put in number one here. And the second feature that we did was the wheels. It's going to be these two. Nice arrows. They look like, <laughs> they look like crap. Anyway, and the third one is the greenhouse, which is right here. 
that's number three. And this is all you need to start to design your car from here. It's real. It really doesn't have to be more complicated than that. From here, I mean, if you want to make an estate or a wagon, you can just extend this line up to there and not have it slope like this to make a coupe. But I prefer to, to sketch coupes because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just way more fun. So I'm going to add a trunk or an end point for this roof line here. And we have the center point right here. And I kind of, I think you kind of see now where we are going with this car because all the main features are already there and we can start to uh, design this car just as we like and put in whatever features we want. You can make something like this maybe, like this is going to be the most generic sports car you've ever seen in your life, but I'm trying to keep it simple just for the sake of... Uh, of just uh, getting my points across. So we have the window here and all of these three key features that we have here, one, two, three, all of these features will guide us and let us know where we, where we are supposed to put everything else. Because we have those three guidelines that are the main features of basically any car. And this is what I meant by putting out the spokes. So if we put out the spokes, we kind of, our brain kind of tells us that it's supposed to be a wheel in combination with the shape of a car. I mean, it can't be uh, so many other things than wheels. So you don't need to fill in all the, the whole ellipse here if you don't want to. And then we can add some sort of diffuser at the back here. And of course, dual exhausts and for the rear I mean from here we just start to work on the graphics of the car uh, for example what kind of headlights we want we might want round headlights or we want to make something triangular maybe uh, we can do whatever whatever we want really Maybe just a light bar that goes across here, something like that. And right now, I mean, I'm just adding some reflections. The base is still the same. I'm still using these three features to guide where I'm putting stuff. And there we go. We have our coupe in three quarter rear view. I hope this may have made sense. And if it didn't, please uh, just reply to this video and let me know and I'll, I'll try to explain it uh, in more detail. So let's move over to the second sketch here. So we have the wheels a bit more narrow, but the, the principles are still the same. We want to add the three key features, which, was, which were, first of all, the baseline, which we already have. Second, the wheels. If you want, you can make it turn like this by making almost a circle instead of an ellipse that follows the shape of the wheel arch. And from here, we need this end point that we had up here that I put up here in the beginning of the sketch. We need that to be further away now since we are seeing more of the rear. So I'm going to put it somewhere uh, around here, probably. This is all a matter of taste and of course the more you practice and the, the more you copy other designers sketches and try to make it look like them the more you will learn and your eyes will start to see what looks right and what looks wrong. So same thing here adding the wheel uh, the wheel arches or starting to design the body in the greenhouse of this car. And since we see it from such a, almost a rear view, this A pillar here will start a lot further this way than we have here. So I kind of almost want to start it above the rear wheel, something like that. And right here we have all the proportions that we need. We have our guidelines we have the baseline which is basically this line right here 
and we have the wheels we have the greenhouse all we have to do now is to design this car and make it our own basically And if you want to make it even easier for yourself, uh, you might want to add some, some of these section lines here just to uh, help your brain understand the shape and what's going on. So you want to add a center line, for example, and you can add these uh, uh, section lines here that follows the, uh, the ins and outs of the body and so on. Cool, we got some different graphics on this car than I usually sketch. And let's add, uh, let's make like a rectangular exhaust down here. Something like that. And also the, the wheel on the other side here. So there we go. That's uh, basically what I wanted to show you today. And all you got to keep in mind is to start really, really basic with these three features. Try it out and let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any problems, as I said, just reply to this video. I'm always happy to help you out. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.